Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you, DN Doggy. Was was there noise for that? Oh, uh, hopefully that wasn't too loud. Uh, I was trying to make it be really quiet or not have noise at all, actually. It was loud. Well, I will, uh, I will take care of that later. Oh, man. Uh, you know what? If it is really loud... Just so I don't uh, blow anyone's ears out. I will temporarily disable that until I can... Uh... <laughs> I will temporarily disable that so I don't uh, freak anyone out. Sorry about that. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to my debut. How are you all doing today? That's good to hear. I am so excited for this. I've been waiting for this ever since I uh, set up the debut date. You know, it's, uh, I think it's time without further ado to uh, start this slideshow. Also, I think it's good you missed the uh, that sound rafter. Sounds like it was pretty loud. <laughs> All right. Who am I? I am Plum the Hermit Crab. But you all can call me Plum. I am four foot four or 132 centimeters. I am a... Uh, a little on the short side, a little bit, but that's okay. Hermit crabs are, uh, hermit crabs start out real tiny, uh, and they grow for the entirety of their lifespan. So I've got a lot of growing left in me. My birthday is February 4th. So, uh, just had my birthday last month. My occupation, I have two. Uh, you know what? They actually do have a pretty long lifespan, believe it or not. Uh, they can live for up to 40 years in captivity. And no one knows how long they live in, uh, in the wild. Uh, I am a purple pincher also known as a Caribbean hermit crab. I have uh, quite a few of them in a very large uh, enclosure. About mm, maybe 10 of them uh, in a giant, giant enclosure that takes up uh, the, that's really tall. It's like, I want to say it's, Maybe six or eight feet tall. It's pretty big. <laughs> uh, but I am an adventurer and a shopkeeper. Uh, I'll go more into that pretty shortly with uh, when I get to my lore page. Uh, I speak English, but I am wanting to and trying to learn Japanese. Uh, 
slowly. Uh, I've been learning it since the start of the new year. Uh, I would not say that I'm anywhere near proficient, but I am working on it. So hopefully one day I'll be able to, uh, to call myself fluent. Uh, my two colors, uh, in case anybody ever wants to do any fan art, are listed here. Uh, and then you can get find me at my Twitter account, at HermitCrabPlum. All right. Sorry that this is uh, a little long, but I'll, I'll go through it. Uh, and here I am, by the way. Plum was a carefree hermit crab living on a beautiful beach in the Caribbean. He was taken from his home and sold to an uncaring pet store where he was placed in a cramped tank with a large number of neglected, sick, and scared hermit crabs. A young woman named Allie visited the pet store and bought Plum, bringing him back to her apartment where he could live in comfort and safety. In Allie's hermit tank, Plum met six other hermit crabs named Apricot, Peach, cherry, mango, raspberry, and coconut. In the tank next to him, he also met an Aki monitor named Raptor. He slowly became best friends with them all. They lived happily together, watching Allie do her daily activities, which included gaming, watching streamers, and binging anime. However, one day while moving to a bigger apartment, Plum, Allie, and the rest of her beloved pets were hit by a runaway truck. But something miraculous happened. As Plum awoke in a strange world with a new humanoid body, he discovered a magical ability to create portals. He set out on a journey to find Allie and his friends, determined to reunite with them. With each portal he creates, Plum is one step closer to reuniting with the ones he loves and experiencing the grand adventure he always dreamed of. So in short, <laughs> I am this hermit crab here. Isekai'd into a fantasy world. With the power to create portals, I travel from world to world looking for my friends who I know must be out there too. I adventure on the side and then I take the cool loot that I find that uh, isn't quite for me because uh, I'm no hero. Uh, and then I set up a shop and I sell it to heroes. So anything, uh, anything that I find while adventuring or dungeon diving or anything like that goes into my pop-up shop that I make. And then I sell it to adventurers in need. I always have something that fits what they're looking for. Uh, here's some concept art from way back when. This is... Uh, this is probably over a year old, I would say at this point, maybe, actually this is probably a year and a half old. Plum's gone through a few iterations. Uh, at one point, uh, he had all kinds of different hairstyles and everything. Here's a second uh, page of concept art. This is a little more recent after that after we had kind of solidified his design and what his general aesthetic was going to look like. Uh, you haven't seen it yet, but his shell used to be a lot bigger. And he used to have a tail. We decided not to go with the tail, though. Uh, if you've never seen a... Uh, if you've never seen a real hermit crab, uh, they're adorable and cute, but their tails are a little gross. So, uh, <laughs> and I didn't, and I couldn't figure out how to implement it. So we decided, you know what? No tail. Here is our reference sheet. Uh, I will be posting this 
after my or after the stream is over, I'll be posting this to my Twitter. That way, if anybody ever wants to make fan art now or in the future, uh, they can have this reference sheet. If I haven't already posted it. Oh, thank you for the follow. Staz Irvine, thank you. Sorry, I had to find where that was. <laughs> uh, some cool facts about Plum, uh, looking at the reference sheet here. Uh, my fingers uh, and the rest of my body, uh, when it's under stress or I'm doing anything really intense, uh, they turn from my blue tint to red and purple. Uh, and they harden into a carapace, which is great for climbing. Us hermit crabs are really, really good at climbing. Also, I can't forget to mention Tux, pictured here at the bottom. Tux is my traveling companion uh, and my best friend and little buddy on this journey. Uh, he is a zebra isopod. And isn't he cute? Look at this little, uh, look at this little guy. He's got a mustache and a bow tie and little buttons. He looks like a little butler. Uh, and this is to scale too. He's, uh, he's pretty big. <laughs> Also, I really love the, the gold accents on this model. Uh, the anchors on the hoodie drawstrings, uh, and then the tip of the shell. I really love that. Uh, I'm not affiliate yet, obviously, but we already have some really cool emotes ready to go. So hopefully I can hit that pretty pretty shortly. I'm going to try my best. Uh, that way I can get these out to you guys. We've got a... We've got a cute happy plum. We've got a... Really, really angry plum. A, a absolutely disgusted plum. Uh, a scared... Hiding shy little plum. And uh, a sad plum. Freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and wondering what could possibly be going on here. All right, now for the credits. Here, this is uh, pretty much all of my art uh, that you've seen so far, and the rest that you'll be seeing after this slide. Uh, virtually all of it. Uh, has been done by Raptor Hime. Uh, she made the. She also made my model, and rigged my model. Uh, she's done a lot for me, and uh, she's been helping me on this for a year and a half, and I really appreciate that. Uh, she's also uh, my wife, uh, and has been just a, a great friend to me in helping me uh, make this dream a reality. Really appreciate it. She is also going to be uh, working on uh, her own model uh, in the near future. To I'm not sure how near. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to say for her, but uh, she's going to be working on her own model uh, and maybe even streaming it. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, doggy. Uh, yeah, we are... Uh, hopefully, we'll one day be able to stream some games together. Also, I know it's uh, it's my debut, so I don't want to spend too long on it. But I do really love uh, this design here. Uh, this, uh, this tar slime. Really great. Oh, 
All right, time for some likes and some dislikes. Uh, I am a huge fan of cartoons and animation. Uh, and I, I've watched a lot of cartoons growing up and, and still now. Uh, SpongeBob, shout out to, uh, in my opinion, the GOAT. <laughs> At least the first three seasons, for sure. Uh, I can probably quote the first three seasons of SpongeBob verbatim. Like in any any episode, any like line from it, uh, I can probably quote along with it perfectly. Uh, I constantly am reacting with with SpongeBob stuff on Twitter and uh, and in Discord and stuff. Uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Teen Titans, Gravity Falls, Steven Universe, Owl House. Uh, Cancelled way too soon. Uh, Invincible, Dexter's Lab, Powerpuff Girls, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. My Life as a Teenage Robot, Fairly Odd Parents, all great. Love cartoons. Uh, books? Uh, I haven't read as much recently as I would like to have, or I'd like to. Uh, but I'm a big fan of fantasy and mythology. Uh, Greek mythology in particular, uh, Japanese mythology too, but I, I love Greek mythology. Uh, there's a book called Mythology by Edith Hamilton, and it's it's a great read. That just goes over a bunch of the different like stories in Greek myth, and I, I loved it as a kid, and I still occasionally reread it. Uh, for movies, uh, I'm a big fan of comedy. Uh, Scott Pilgrim. I've probably seen that movie like, oh man, like maybe a, maybe a dozen times. Uh, Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls is such a classic. Kung Fu Hustle is amazing. Uh, I also like the uh, the first two trilogies of Star Wars. Uh, and Into the Spider-Verse, also great movie. Uh, I'm, a, I'm pretty big on, uh, on food. Uh, barbecue, Mexican, Japanese, Indian food. There's there's not really a food I don't like, but these would definitely fall under my favorites for sure. Uh, my favorite colors. Uh, gonna come as a huge shock here, but they're purple, red, and gold. Which happen to line up pretty perfectly with a lot of the colors you'll see on Purple Pinchers. And then animals. Uh, I'm a big fan of animals. Uh, I love dogs. Uh, another surprise, but I love hermit crabs, seeing as how I have like 10 of them. Uh, and then sea life in general. Uh, when I was in elementary school, I dreamed of being a marine biologist when I grew up. So I would spend so much of my time as a kid reading like just books on fish and sharks and crabs and just marine life and dolphins and watching nature documentaries. So I love the ocean. Uh, and then outside of that, hobbies, uh, reading, writing, uh, I love creative writing. Uh, that's been a passion of mine since high school. Uh, I still love it. Uh, programming, that's that's something I'm, I would consider myself to be like the, the most newbie of newbies at, but that is something I'd really like to learn more of. Uh, I'd love to make a game one day. Uh, tabletop RPGs, huge fan of those, uh, D&D, Pathfinder, uh, anything by, uh, Sign No Mind Publishing, uh, and Kevin Crawford, the, the person who writes for that, uh, Monsters and Other Childish Things, like, I, I love, I love tabletop RPGs. I haven't played them, uh, as much as I'd like, especially recently, uh, but... I, I love 
TTRPGs. So who knows? Maybe in the future I will uh, maybe I'll play some on stream or collab with some people. That would be awesome. I'm always down for for some of those. Uh, Lego. Uh, ever since it was I was a kid, I've loved Legos. Uh, I have a huge, huge display of them uh, in my house. So uh, I've, I've always loved Legos. Uh, and then lastly, uh, watching sports and cooking shows. Uh, I would not call myself the most athletic uh, crab out there. But I actually really like watching like uh, American football, like NFL. Uh, and then cooking shows. Uh, namely Chopped. I am uh, obsessed with that show. <laughs> uh, for ever since it aired, uh, I have loved watching Chopped. Uh, with my with my mom, I, I watched it a lot. Uh, same for SpongeBob, which might be why I love it so much. Uh, but I used to watch Chopped with my mom all the time growing up. So uh, that that's like a comfort show for me if I have like nothing else to watch and I just need something on in the background. I'll just throw on an episode of that. I'd like to think it's made me a better cook, but I, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, now for some dislikes. Uh, spiders and wasps. Uh, I have a... Even though they're pr they're pretty closely related, uh, I have like a, a pretty crazy uh, sense of arachnophobia like, and uh, whatever you would call the fear of wasps. Uh, it's... I know it's like... It's kind of silly, but if there's like a spider or a wasp near me, I go into like flight or flight mode immediately. Which is a shame because I think spiders are really cool. Uh, and they were something that I used to read about too when I was growing up as a kid. And I would read books on spiders and I still think they're amazing. But there's just something about them when they get too close to me. Uh, getting dirty. Uh... Hermit crabs uh, like to keep themselves clean, and so do I. <laughs> uh, not that I can't, but not that I like can't uh, get dirty or anything. I just don't like it. Uh, conflict and stressful situations. Uh, that's a huge one. I try my hardest and will be trying my hardest to avoid conflict and stress and drama. It is not for me. Some people thrive in it and love it, but I just can't stand it. Caffeine. Uh, I love the smell and taste of coffee, but I just can't. I just can't handle it very well. It it, it sets off like some crazy jittering and anxiety in me whenever I drink it, which I wish I could. But so I'll I'll stick to decaf. Uh, horror and creepy stuff. Uh, I am no good with horror games or with anything that's like really creepy or eerie or or ominous. I think it's really cool and I totally can appreciate like good horror games or movies, but they are not for me. I just can't handle it. <laughs> they freak me out way too much. Uh, I'm the type of person, if I'm watching, even if I'm watching a streamer play, like, a scary game, I'm the type of person who will put the game, uh, or put the stream, like, minimized, even. Like, like shrunk down. Rather than full screen. Uh, and then lastly, lazy writing and plot holes. Uh, nothing against uh, writers out there, like other writers out there, uh, and I'm certainly not going to call like any anything out as an example, but uh, I went to, I didn't, I, I didn't graduate, but I did go to college for creative writing, and I studied it pretty hard, uh, and I have since. Uh, I can't stand plot holes or like bad writing. <laughs> it makes it really hard for me to like 
certain movies and shows and franchises uh, because of the poor writing. Uh, I can still appreciate them, but man, it'll nothing will pull me out of of like a series more than like what I would consider bad writing, uh, which is a shame. Uh, I don't want to like take it any like shots at anything, but the the key example I can think of is like Marvel. I was a huge fan of like the Marvel movies and comics and cartoons and games. Uh, but something happened after uh, Endgame and they went to the like the next phase and they like lost me really hard. So I would I would say that would be my example for, for writing that I just don't like very much. I'm, I'm not a big fan of their style. All right, anime and manga, the good stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm a huge fan of anime and manga. Uh, I have watched a lot, probably too much. Uh, not so much recently, but I'm a big fan of anime and manga. FMA Brotherhood. Uh, these are listed, by the way, in no particular order. Uh, and these were just things that came off the top of my head. But FMA Brotherhood, uh, I say it's in no particular order, but I do kind of think putting it first was okay. One, one of the greatest anime of all times, in my opinion. Uh, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, fantastic. I love JoJo. The Fate series uh, is hard to follow, but I, but I do love it. Spy Family was so cute. Cyberpunk Edge Runners was a fantastic anime. Uh, I grew up watching Naruto. That was probably one of the very first anime I watched. So it holds a, a special place in my heart. Uh, One Punch Man. I love One Punch Man. Uh, Nichi Joe, fantastic comedy. I love that. Uh, Hoseki no Kuni is a great anime and manga. Uh, that is Land of the Lustrous. The one with the gems, I love that. Uh, Silent Voice, fantastic movie. Uh, it made me cry when I watched it the first time. Uh, Konosuba is hilarious. k -On is is a classic and, and cute uh, Death Parade was really good. Uh, I still think about that show sometimes. Uh, Toradora was, a, in my opinion, a great, great, great uh, romantic comedy. Little Witch Academia was cute. I love stuff by Trigger. Clonade was was cute and sad. Uh, my Hero Academia is, is has a really good world. Uh, Chinibio is another good uh, rom-com I liked. Summer Wars is a good movie. Uh, and then Pokemon. Because who doesn't love Pokemon? For manga, uh, I read a lot of manga. Like, like isekai in general. Uh, to me, isekai is like junk food. Like, I, I don't think it's, it's, most of it's not very good. But I cannot help but, like, eat it. Uh, so I read a lot of isekai. Which is probably why it ended up in my uh, my backstory. <laughs> uh, yeah, Boko no Suma is really good. It's a really cute one about a robot. Dungeon Messi is great. Uh, Ishizoka reviewers and Monster Masume are uh, perhaps a little cultured, but they're pretty good. Uh, solo leveling uh, was fantastic. The art was amazing uh anything by Dowman Saiman uh I think is great he has a great art style it's very weird but but I I love his style uh Miracle Chan is really creepy uh if you've never seen it it's it's really really spooky it's about a girl who can see ghosts but I do really like that uh and then Nagatoro is is pretty funny
All right, games. Uh... <laughs> Uh, as for games, uh, I realized while making this that I definitely have like a set typing of games that I love, uh, bullet heaven games, uh, which a lot of people call vampire survivor likes, uh, they're similar to bullet, he uh, bullet hells, but a bullet hell is like a Toho, uh, would be probably the best example. And then bullet heaven games is like a uh, vampire survivor clones. Uh, I love playing those games, and I will probably be playing these on stream at some point. Uh, fighting games, uh, I love playing fighting games. I am not great at them, but I really love fighting games. Uh, I love to hate them, but I do play gotcha games. I can't help it. Uh, platformers, uh... Man, there are so many good platformers. I will probably be playing these on stream for sure. Uh, especially Spyro. That is, uh, that was like my favorite great game growing up as a kid. Uh, roguelites. It's more of a type of game, but I play a lot of roguelites. Uh, I'll definitely be playing these on stream too. RPGs, gotta love those. Uh, especially the Souls games. Oh, thank you for the follow. Sorrow of Skyland. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, RPGs. I will definitely be playing some of these too. Uh, definitely, probably will touch the Souls games. Either the, either the Souls games or Elden Ring or maybe both. Uh, and then other, uh, I love Splatoon 3. Uh, I My character, Plum, would fit perfectly in that, that game universe. Uh, Star Fox, I loved that. I played it a ton growing up. Mario Kart. Uh, League of Legends, uh, I don't think I'm going to stream that. I am terrible at it. Uh, but I do play some League. Can't escape that game. All right, now for my tags. Uh, these will also be going up on Twitter. Uh, I'll be posting these later uh, along with my schedule. But for my general tag, we have Hermit Crab Plum. For my live tag, we will be using Crab Cast. For my art, we'll be using Plum Portraits. If anyone decides to ever draw any art that is uh, a little spicy, uh, we'll be using Spicy Hermit Crab. Uh, it was going to be Spicy Crab, but then I realized that like people use that tag on Twitter for like cooking and sushi. So I decided, you know what, let's uh, <laughs> let's keep that out of that and uh, we'll make it Spicy Hermit Crab. Uh, if anyone ever decides to cosplay... Uh, as Plum, which would be amazing, by the way, if anyone ever does that. Uh, we'll do Krabby Cosplay. My fan name, uh, gonna be The Hermit Herd. For memes, we'll be using Hermit Humor. And then my emoji slash Oshi mark uh, is the shell and the crab. Also, uh, just a quick shout out to all of these uh, chibis that I've been going past. Uh, these also, of course, were done by Raptor. I really like uh, this one in the bottom left. Cosplaying as my boy Kressel from Pokemon. All right, and now my goals. I agree, Alaska.
Russell is the lad. He's really fun in Pokemon Unite, too. Uh, my goals are to become a Twitch affiliate, to refine my stream graphics further. Uh, right now, the background, uh, which you'll be seeing more of shortly, uh, is static, uh, but eventually uh, we're going to make it animated, and that'll be really cool. Uh, I would love to reach 100 Twitch followers as my first major milestone and 500 Twitter followers. And then my biggest goal is to have lots of fun and bring enjoyment to you guys, my viewers, chat. Uh, if, if I'm not having fun or you're not having fun, then, you know, what's the point? So that's my number one goal. And shout out to Gurren Lagan here. <laughs> and the amazing, uh, the amazing art here and, uh, and these glasses. I love these glasses. So iconic. And then, uh, let me swap us over so I can show off my model to you guys. All right, here we go. Let me uh, let me zoom out a bit for you guys. The big reveal. Plum the hermit crab. Uh, also included my hood my hat, and my shell, which comes with tux. Raptor did a great job with this, and I really like this model. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can show off what uh, all of these amazing, amazing toggles I have. <laughs> he is shrimpy. But you know what? That's okay. All right. We've got... We've got Angry. I'm disappointed. I love how the eyes on the hoodie uh, react to this, too. We have crying. Disgust. Embarrassed. I love this one. We got fear. Which hopefully I don't have to use too much. But uh, we got fear here. We got flustered. We have love, uh, which I love. I love love. And I love that hearts come out of the eyes, too, on the top. We have a uh, kind of this deadpan oof. We have an even more intense 
crying. We have surprise. And then we have. Whoa. <laughs> I love this one too. Also, I realized the music stopped. Let me fix that. There we go. There was. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too quiet. I might need to turn it up. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Or maybe that's too loud. Uh, we also have my favorite toggle of them all. Which is uh, my smug face. Oh, I forgot something uh, very important. I can also... I can also do that. <laughs> it is. It is a dangerous thing. But yeah, that is... Pretty much all of my toggles. Oh, you know what? There is something I forgot to point out, too. Let me... Let me show you guys this. My ears. You know, what with my... My hair being uh, all carapacy and rough, you know, don't want to, uh, don't want to chafe the ears. So they, uh, they have some, uh, they have some shell up on them. Got to keep them, uh, got to keep them protected. <laughs> And that is that is pretty much uh, everything. So thank you so much, everyone who came out. Uh, let me uh, switch back over. So I can show you my stream schedule. There we go. So I will be streaming this coming Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Mountain Time. Uh, and I will be streaming through the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time, uh, and a fantastic one. Uh, and I will be doing the 337%. Uh, three, so I will be 100%ing uh, all three games. Uh, and then Sundays and Saturday, I will be resting. Also, I love this uh, this cute little uh, little dragon OC <laughs> that Raptor drew for me.
Uh, and I'll be posting this to my Twitter uh, as soon as the stream is up. That way everybody can know when I'll be streaming. But yeah, that's, uh, I think that's going to, yes, yes, today is Saturday. Uh, I will not be streaming, uh, tomorrow, but I will be back to it on Monday. Thank you so much again to everybody who came out. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And hopefully I can see you guys on Monday. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, because I love Spyro. So yeah, thanks again. We'll see you on Monday.